gonna do a pretty exciting video to me. It is managing all of my sinking fund for Disneyland and putting them in their perspective clash envelopes that I want to do. And basically, this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need your planner because this is where you kept your like sinking funds or you know your budget and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out my Disney cash envelope because that's the one where I sink fund that. Just beautiful right there. So we're gonna put this to the side now. Now, next thing you're gonna need is duct tape. I have the scotch tape, super hold tape because these are cash envelopes. I don't want them opening up. You can use glue, you can laminate, whatever you want. But I use um, scotch tape, um, super strong hole. A pair of scissors because we're gonna be cutting our cash envelopes. I'm gonna use a Micron 05 um, Figma pen. Um, this is because I am using a certain type of paper and I want it to just be um, dark enough and thick enough to be in there. Next, you're gonna need any clear pouch. These are the ones I get from Target from their dollar spot. They come in like this. They have like stickers, um, bands, washi, ma magnets, and it's basically a zipper pouch that you can put in your planner. And they come in like this is a different one it comes like with these like page flags and you see back in the back it tells you it has a zipper pouch so if you see these and you're not interested well in there they have zipper pouches so that's how I get these see there's another one this one has like a mint one in there so this I got them a while back but every time I go to Target they do have these available but for today I'm gonna use the pink pouch so I'm going to put those away. And now I have my cash envelopes. These I got from the Budget Mob. These are her um, children's cash envelopes in the horizontal, no, it's vertical envelope layout. Now my printer went a little haywire trying to print these out. So I kind of like cut, not such a print. So I went from dark to light, dark to light, even though it had to be like a complete dark um um, color, but it's alright. So I got the kid section, um, kid envelope because these were like two ninety nine. So if you're interested in like really affordable printout cash envelopes, check out the Budget Mom. And I thought this is perfect because I'm going to Disneyland, and these cute little monsters just like just represents like Disneyland to me. And these are super cute. You can tell my printer did the same thing. It just won't print out a whole blue. Uh, thing it has to make some weird splotches so don't mind that same with the the orange I don't know what's wrong with my printer and then finally this so what we're gonna do if I'm gonna show you is we're gonna cut around the edges so right here you're just gonna cut around until you have all your um, cash envelopes so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now so I got my scissors these are target scissors as well and I'm using 28 pound paper. On her um, Instagram, she does say, ooh, these are actually hard to tell the outline. All right, either way, I'm gonna, ooh, yeah, that's gonna be a little hard. You can't really, you see that you can't tell where it ends. So hopefully I don't mess this up. And if I do, well, it's all right. We're only gonna use it for that day being. And I can reprint some out more. So yeah, just be careful about this one. So we're going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back when I finish all okay, of Okay, so I'm back. I cut everything. So these are their individual pieces. They look super cute. Um, like, how cute. This reminds me of Space Mountain. This reminds me of like the Rancho de Socolo that I want to go to. And you know what? It, it, they just remind me of little places that I want to be at Disneyland, so oh, I'm so happy I chose this design. Plus, if you guys didn't know, once you buy it, you can reprint this as many times as you want. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and grab, let me grab a dark one so you guys can see. Okay, let's do this uh, colorful one, and I'm going to show you how you're supposed to make these. So if you look very closely, they have little um, outlines right across here. And let me zoom if I can zoom you guys in really good. You can see that there is an outline right there for you to fold these. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and fold this just the way she wants them. So I'm going to go ahead and 
flip it around and I'm gonna find the edge. Let's see if I can zoom you guys in. I'm gonna find the edge which is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and press on it. Now you can be very detailed, you don't have to be. It just depends on you. So we fold it where she wanted it. See? Fold it. We're gonna do the same to this side. Fold it exactly where the indentations are at. Kinda went a little bit over on one, but it's alright. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and tape it right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my scotch tape. Ooh. This is super strong hold, so I'm not worried that it'll come off or come apart or anything like that. So, because I've used this tape before to tape up my cash envelopes and nothing has happened. So I got that top done, grab another piece of paper. I don't want to do a full length paper because sometimes I put the tape on crooked so that's why. So it is now sealed so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the flap in right there. Nice and beautiful and I'm going to seal it up here as well. I'm going to do small little pieces on the sides, just as a caution, but you really don't need it. Like this tape is like heavy duty, like uh -uh, it's not coming off. So now that you have it all taped up, then you have the front. So let me zoom you guys out a bit more so you guys can see it. Now you have the whole front and now you have the flap. Now you can. Um, what you can do is you can fold the flap, cut the flap if you don't like it, so you can just have an open-ended um, envelope, but I'm going to go ahead and fold it just in the natural lines that she has designed for them. And voila, you have your cash envelope. You can put your money in here and you're good to go. Now the 26, uh, 28 pound paper is pretty sturdy. so. It, this doesn't feel like it's going to tear anytime soon. Um, you see my cash envelopes that I used to have. Um, I still have the birthday one and the car maintenance ones. They don't. You can handle them, put them in your wallet, and they really don't fall apart because the pound paper is really good. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest for all of these. And I'll be right back and I'll show you the finished product. Alright, so there we have it. We have all the cash envelopes done and prepared. They're super cute. And now all I gotta do is I gotta label what I want them to be. And yeah, so this one I want to make it to be admissions. So this is where I'm gonna put my money for my ticket. So I, I am using the Micron 05 um, marker pen that I got from Michaels. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in just a bit and I'll write admissions. Now I don't have the prettiest writing so it's all right. I'm going to do anything fancy. Admissions. And we're going to put. Missions. And we're going to put admissions. And we're going to put a money sign just to fill in the gaps. So that's how that one looks. The next one is this one. I know exactly what I want this one to be. I want this to be the Rancho de Socolo. Um, of envelope because it just reminds me of it so let me pull out so I'm gonna put Rancho and put it right here and I'm gonna break my cash envelopes into their own individual restaurants just because I do not want to mix the money I don't want to have the temptation to be like oh there's more money here I can pull from it no I'm gonna have them all separated so I know that you know what this is what it's for I'm um, we'll put the Zocalo. So that one's gonna be cute. <sighs> that one's 
pretty cute. And I decided that I'm not going to do the strawberry horchata. I'm going to do a uh, Jamaica for my drink because I was, like, I'm one of those crazy people that sees all the reviews on on YouTube about, like, the food and stuff and how the park goes. And, yeah, basically, I I saw that the um, um, horchata is really sweet. So I kind of don't like sweets. So let me go ahead and finish these off and I'll be right back. I'm go ahead and put how much each uh, cash envelope needs for admissions. I already did pay my ticket and I don't know if you guys saw my plan with me video. I'll link it somewhere right here. I said that I already bought my ticket, which I did. I went to Target.com and used my debit card, my Target red card debit card and I got five dollars off a hundred dollar gift card so I paid ninety five dollars for a hundred dollar gift card and then I paid the remaining balance of what a Disney ticket is which is four dollars so in total my ticket cost me a hundred ninety nine dollars instead of a hundred and four so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna set aside thirteen dollars which I don't have change for so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my um Shut down money, and I'll be right back because I'm going to make some right, change. So I may change. Now, the only thing I want to have here is the money for the Disneyland ticket because I did put the $100 that I made off a purse into my bank account. So those $100 went to pay off the $99 ticket that is going to get me into Disneyland. So here, the only thing you won't see is like a dollar because that dollar is in my bank account. <laughs> So I put in $100 in my bank account, and the, the, the ticket was $99, so I do have an extra dollar in my bank account that you won't see here, but because I ain't going to break $100, it's just going to go straight into my bank account. So let's get started. So the one thing, so here's admissions, and let me zoom you guys in so you guys can see everything and put my money down. Let's pull you down so you guys can see everything. Right there. I love how money lays out. Like, they're a little crooked, but it's alright. You're not going to worry about so much about it. Yet here I am proceeding to fix my money. <laughs> okay, so admissions, I'm only going to pay for um, parking. So parking, I'm going to put $13 here. Ooh, it's over. Let me see. Maybe it'll focus. Hey, honey, focus. There you go. Sorry, it's like so exposed. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put $13. So I'm going to get a 10, 11, 12, 13. So $13 is going to go in admissions. And that's my cash envelope right there. Next I'm going to do is Red Rose Tavern. That is our breakfast. This is an optional thing, but I'm pretty sure we might do it. So this one gets $17. So 10, 15, 16, 17. And for those that don't know, this does include tax already. I've, If you haven't seen my Disneyland budget, I'll put it right here. So that's gonna go in here. Beautiful. Next is Rancho de Zocolo. Zocalo. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. I can't wait to try their sopas. I've heard amazing things. So this one is going to get $28. 5, 26, 27, 28. Right in there. Beautiful. They are stuffed. Oh, look, there's a five in here. Next thing we're going to do is the Hungry Bear. So the Hungry Bear is right here. This is my cash envelope. And Hungry Bear gets $20, so that's a simple right there. Ooh. Folded this one kind of wrong, so I'm going to fix it right now. Perfect, whatever. That's that. Next is souvenirs. This is what I'm excited about. I can't wait to get my hands on this. Hopefully it's available when I go. So that one's $28. 26, 27, 28. This is like my favorite envelope right here. This is cute. I love it. 
Like, it says for kids, but pff, who says I'm not a kid? <laughs> Anywho, that one's there. Next off is Snacks and Treats, which is right here. My first snack and treat are the beignets and mint julep, which should be $11. So I'm going to put $11 in here to account for that. And then another snack or treat that I'm going to want to have is the palm frites from Cafe Orleans. And that is $9. Five, six, seven, eight, and $9. So that goes in here as well. So those are my cash envelopes stuff right there they're stuff to the brim now i do have extra money like i told you guys i only paid 99 dollars for my disneyland ticket so with a dollar in my account two three four five this will make up for the 104 that i actually budgeted so what i'm gonna do is i'm probably gonna put a dollar let me see i'll put a dollar in that one Maybe a dollar in this one in my snacks. What else? I don't think I'm going to add too much on that one. You know what I'm going to do? No. We're going to get up super early, right? So I'm pretty sure I'm going to want to have a coffee in the morning. And we might go to the marketplace, right? That's what it's called. That's what's supposed to be Target. And I'm going to use this for coffee. So that's going to go just in my regular wallet for coffee. So what I'm going to do now is grab a, a hold of my pouch. So let's get my pouch out. Let's take out all the goodies. This is what I mean. Like I give these to my nieces because they're just a bunch of stickers that I kind of don't need. So this is like a planner, like um, elastic, some washi some page magnets and like I have several of these so I have copies of all of them and the stickers so I just give them to them so they can have so now that that's empty I'm gonna go ahead and stuff my cash envelopes in this pouch it says one set so I'm gonna put them in order so admissions red rose red rose tavern and then so Kahlo, hungry bear and snacks and souvenirs will go in the back. These are like the cutest envelopes ever. So yeah, if you ever want some cute envelopes, they're kid, they're for kids, but hey, adults can have some cute stuff. Go to the budgetmom.com and her shop, she has these for $2.99 and they're printable ones. So all you do is um, print them, use them, and then reprint them once they start getting old and you're using them a lot. So that's that. And then my $4 that I saved on my ticket will go for coffee. So we're just going to put that right in front as well. And I'm going to seal her up. And she's good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, you guys.